problem is we've had so many conversations recently. How excited do you get when you hear those hyena cackles over New York City freestyle beats? Because as soon as they start, me and the matriarch Chrissy D are ready for battle. What's up, everybody? What's up on my cuck 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 cucks and my and my and my fucking my matriarchs? How's everybody doing? Throw your pseudo penises in the air. Everyone, give the PPS pseudo penis salute right now. Throw your, throw your pseudo-penises in the air and wave them like you just don't, don't care. care. Yeah. Give us your hyena cackle. <laughs> That's a fucking monkey. Yeah. That is not a hyena. Well, guess what? Because I'm a fucking Brooklyn, Queens monkey. You are a burrow ape. Yeah, man. For sure. Because it's... 195 degrees Celsius in New York City today. Yeah, and this Literally, is... Literally, the kid is a... Fa- I'm a sleepy fucking kid right now. You are. Because it's too hot, and the air condition doesn't work, because Bobby Kelly won't get a new fucking air conditioner. He just wants to get more sandwiches. Yeah, and he also still has these... Um... These Kodak yeah. film cameras here yeah, where we're in stop motion when you watch it. Yeah, it's like it's like why did you know It's like it's, flipping through a picture book. They're like fucking underwater cameras for I no, mean, but aren't underwater. It's two thousand and eighteen. They have high definition and we're still this is like a black and white TV of cameras. Yeah, it's a zenith camera. Cuz. Yeah, cuz. You're a fucking wild kid. Yeah, I mean, you're wearing... You just had to drive my car here because I'm fucking blind. Yeah, because you're blind. You got want to get LASIK surgery so they diluted his pupils. Yeah. And uh yeah, I'm wearing a black shirt. You're wearing a white shirt with like a black and white cookie. Yeah, we are. Zach Isis is, is here. He's got his uh guns out. He's got a sleeveless shirt on. Yeah. And you can just see his arms, his fucking hairy arms. Yeah, well, you can see his arms, but you have to sift through a lot of hair to see him. Yeah, he's got hair up to his sh- shoulders. I mean, he's a chimp from but Queens. He's jacked. He's pretty fucking jacked. Zach's jacked up. Yeah, and also his finger is freaking numb from breaking up a dog fight. He's yeah. true Queens trash. trash. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about dogs wow. and how the evolution of dogs uh, you know, pretty much prolonged our society. And the reason why we're not hunter-gatherers anymore is because of dogs. And I had a dog when I was a kid. Uh, her name was Cruella. She was a Dalmatian. Wait, her name was what? Cruella. Cruella? We named her Cruella because 101 Dalmatians was my favorite movie when I was a kid, so my mom got whoa, me a Dalmatian whoa, whoa, puppy. Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, 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 Back up, back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Take me back here. Yeah. You're 12 years old. Yeah. Chris Tw- Stefano. Chrissy D, 12 You're, years old. Yeah, there's kids in the neighborhood who definitely have mob connections for yeah. sure. Some of the kids were having sex already at yeah, 12 years old. Yeah, some of the kids are having sex already. Now. You're still sucking your thumb at this point or no? I'm st- I'm, I don't know if I'm sucking my thumb, but I'm definitely still sleeping in the same bed as my mother. <laughs> <laughs> so but nobody th- knows that but me and my mom. Yeah, so we're talking what, 14, 15? Uh, yeah, 17, 18? Yeah, it's uh, 28, 29. Yeah. No, it stopped, it stopped when I was about 16. I was about as... You're so- an open kid. You yeah. don't mind telling people <laughs> anything. Yeah, because you know, I'm a big kid. You're I'm a 225, big kid. Yeah. so it's hard to say anything to me. You yeah, because you do know how to choke somebody out. You yes. did learn that move in Krav Maga. I know, Krav Maga. Yeah. So the thing is... I yeah. mean, not a lot, but you can choke somebody out. Choke somebody out. Bit, bit. But so, yeah, when I was about 16, 17, I finally stopped sleeping in bed with my mother. But this this was about, we got Cruella when <laughs> wow. I was about 11 or 12 years old. That's how you got so stout. Are you, yeah. You're you definitely so stout. You think so? Because, you know, a lot of kids who end up being so stout, and if you just start listening to the podcast and this is your first episode, so stout mean you're a true blue so- sociopath? Yeah. Sociopath, if you listen to the Psychopaths' Wild episode, you would know sociopaths aren't born like that. They become that way. Yeah. Because Chrissy D has a little bit of a heart. He's got a little bit of a heart, but he's so stout bad. Yeah. And a lot of it has to do with, like, mom relationships. Yeah. 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 Living a, yeah. yeah. Sleeping in bed late. Yeah. That's yeah. why you tried to poison your mom's dog with fucking Clorox bleach. Yeah. You're so stout bad. Yeah, because I, you know, I used to watch 101 Dalmatians every single day after school. Well, all my boys were out playing sports and banging girls and watching TRL. I was watching 101 Dalmatians, Cruella Deville. Yeah, are you a gay kid? 
I'm a gay kid. Yeah, Lady yeah. and the Tramp. I used to watch a lot of dog cartoons. Because you may be a gay kid. You think I'm a gay kid? Yeah, but you can't come out to your father's long dead. I can't even process it. My brain won't <laughs> even allow me to look inside my soul to even see if those gay answers are there. Yeah. I told my dad six feet under. I can't even think about it. And then you may even have to wait a little longer just in case his ghost is lurking around. Yeah, because, yeah, you usually got about three to six months after somebody dies is high ghost activity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're watching. So you're a little gay kid in little jammies with footsies on. What footsies on? Sucking your tongue, watching 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. While Eating your friends, grams. yeah, your friends are out there uh, throwing firecrackers at Chinese kids. Yep. And you're <laughs> <laughs> and you're inside sucking your tongue, watching a cartoon. Watching 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then my Poughkeepsie, mom... Poughkeepsie, bad. Yeah, yeah, bad, bad, yeah. Bad. Yeah, I can't, I can't, handle. I really can't handle it. I cannot. <laughs> that, I can't fucking handle. it Yo, I, you do not make sense on this planet, cuz. I yeah. can't fucking handle it. Wow. Yeah. So, so, my mom, she bought, she came home one day with a puppy. Yeah. A Dalmatian puppy, because she wanted it, you know. And, and, and did you I, try she, to squeeze it because you're on the spectrum? No, no, no. At first, I loved it a lot. Um, but, you know, she came home with it. You know, I, th I think secretly because she liked the movie, too, but also she wanted to date a fireman. You know, yeah. she's a single lady at the time. Catholic woman from yeah, Ridgewood. Catholic woman, yeah, so she yeah. thinks, what gets firemen? Dalmatians. Yeah. So, and then she <laughs> let me name it, and without hesitation, I named it Cruella. Yeah. Because, you know, Cruella DeVille, she was a little scary, you know, a bitch of a character. Mm -hmm. So I named her, I named our dog Cruella kind of as like, you know, I love you, but also stay away from me yeah. kind of thing. And then I remember one time. Wait, uh, wait, uh, so sorry, that's what the character is like? Because I don't watch cartoons because I'm grown up my uh, whole life. I had to be a grown up when I was four because my parents left me alone with a brain injured brother and just said, figure it out. Figure it out. So yeah. I've been 60 years old since I was five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Cruella DeVille, she basically was like the mean lady who like, you know, basically ha hates the dogs. Right. So... I named the Dalmatian Cruella, and I remember I loved the dog, but she used to bite up my sneakers a lot. Yeah. And then she bit up my sneakers like more than more than a few times, and then she bit up a baseball card. Wow. And then she peed in the house, and it used to just bother me a lot. Yeah. So one day my mom ran to the store. It was like a Saturday morning. My mom ran to the store. Brace she, yourself, dog lovers. Yeah, and she had she had ran out to the store because there was a okay. she needed Clorox. Oh, and Jesus. there was a bottle of Clorox, you know, empty bottle. So I took a little bit of, that, of the residuals of it, and I poured it right in her ball. And then she drank the water and then started puking up everywhere. And my mom was like, oh, my God, she must have a stomach virus. I was like, yeah, she does. And I, yeah. And then, and then we had to give the dog away about two weeks later. We gave the dog away. And I don't know what would have happened to it since then. Did the dog die? No, it did, did not kill die. the dog? No, nah, the dog didn't die. I swear to God, the dog. Because we just lost half our listenership. <laughs> you know, people viscerally love dogs because it's in yeah. our evolutionary brain. Right. We look at dogs. It's actually people. It's an yeah. unconscious thing. Right. The reason why you look at a dog and you love it so much is because dogs enabled us to survive. Yeah. You tried to kill men, but sometimes people hold dogs more sacred than people. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Yeah. And that's why they can, that's why they can't stand yeah. with those uh, what the Chinese are doing out there with the dog with eating. With the dogs. Festival. Yeah. No, I get it. And you, yeah. So Clorox. Nah, nah. Nah, How no. much Clorox you put in there? No, the truth is I didn't purposely do it. What happened? Wow, yeah, you're trying to get listeners back. Here yeah. comes politician Chrissy. Yeah. Politician Chrissy. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. The state of the nah. union is speech. No, what happened was is my mother, it was just, it was, truly was an innocent mistake. My mother, she, the dog didn't die, but it did throw up. My mother told me because she knew Cruella was just a young, you know, teen, you know, puppy fucking asshole dog that would put her lips on, mouth on anything. She said, with the Clorox bottle, she told me, she was like, hey, Chris, can you put the Clorox bottle? My mom was cleaning in the back of the house. She was like, can you put the bottle of Clorox up in the top shelf before Cruella gets in? I was like playing video games. I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it right now. She was like, okay, do it right now. She's yeah. like, because the dog's in here and she may come out. And then the dog, you know, I just forgot to do it. And then nobody heard from the dog for about 15 minutes because she was fucking licking the Clorox up off the floor. Yeah, that second story doesn't seem as likely because the dog wouldn't, yeah, which uh, now me and Zach are trying to figure out which one of those stories is the truth and which one's a lie? I promise you're you. You're a true blue so so I promise you. May you. Be psych you may be born. Yeah. That's why you got the protruding head. You may yeah. have the thought. Yeah. You may be TBP. Well, I'm trying to figure out if you're TBS right now or TBP. T I know you're TBG. Yeah, I know you're TBG. 100%. But I'm trying to figure out if you're also S or, or P. Yeah. Wild. Yeah. No, but so that's, that's one of those stories. That... Yeah, no, one of those stories is true, one of them is fake. Yeah. Zach, which one do you vote for, first story or second story? The first one is a very hyena thing to do. I'm going to go with that first one. I'm going with yeah. the first Because the first one, knowing dogs the way I do, one of my biggest passions in life, one of the things I love the most. Yeah. The dog wouldn't go lick the Clorox on you know, unless it was mixed in with the water. 
You know, it would I smell the Clorox, you. yeah, and it would stay away from it. No, my dog would. This eat, dog like was from Queens, though. Yeah. Stupid, stupid dog. Yeah, it's a stupid so it dog. Ate, Could but, be true. But yeah. everything was fine. It just threw up a couple of times. Threw up some blue shit, and the dog was fine. We had to give it away. Yeah. Because it it well because you kicked it a few times bad. I never heard it. I yeah. never heard it. My mom was actually one that had to make the decision to give it away because it um my mom was cleaning inside um like a closet and the dog jumped up because it was fucking outrageous. The dog it was it's so Dalmatians have so much energy. And Dalmatians oh. are actually they're they're very uh, can be very Vicious, yeah, they're yeah. not Vicious. very good. A uh, family, no, not a dogs. good family. Dog. People think no. they are because no. of like the movie yeah. 101 Dalmatians, yeah, but they're not and they're Budweiser not. commercials. They're but actually, they're the reason Dalmatians, Dalmatians were bred to protect uh fire trucks, yeah, so they're fucking and the horses of the fire trucks yeah. back then. So they're actually fucking very vicious. Yeah, they're vicious. They bit, bit, bit us a couple of times, and it would just jump. Smart kid, jump though, if it bit you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but also but also, it's like what, you know, again, another just Queens trash thing to do is get a Dalmatian, a dog that needs a lot of exercise, that needs a yard, and just put it in a one-bedroom apartment in yeah. Queens. Yeah. It's a real dumb thing to do. Yeah. So it shit all over the house, and then one the day it knocked over my mother's good china, yeah, that was that it. Was it for <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, my mom got rid of it because it knocked over some really expensive plates. You can't blame uh, you can't blame your mom for that. Look, if yeah. it, if there's no passage about the Dalmatian in the in the in the New or Old Testament, yeah, I'm not gonna blame her. Right, you know, it's like it should be in there. Yeah, I mean, for Catholic people, they should have passage about dogs and what to do. No. Yeah. Yeah, and then the only other thing I did do with dogs... My mom's dogs, Catholic bad. My mom's Catholic out bad. The only yeah. other thing I did with dogs that was fucked up, I will admit it's fucked up. My, my, he's, still he's still alive. Nah, I never fuck. I used yeah. to play with, with one of them's dick a little bit. <laughs> 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 I swear, I used to I used to think it was funny to jerk to jerk off one of my friend's chihuahuas. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear. And we would laugh at it, yeah, because I'd pull on his dick a little bit. Yeah. What about the chihuahua? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. We just used to fucking, I used to just rub its dick a little bit. And we would laugh at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit, bit, bit. Oh, God. Yeah. Are you serious? You, I swear to God. Say, I swear to God we used to play with no, this little chihuahua's dick. Me. No, I swear. Is that for the cast or is that no, true? No, no, no. That's true. That's true. So what would the chihuahua do? It would just lay there on its back. <laughs> <laughs> and we would die laughing. We, me and all my boys would die laughing would, bad. Would the glue come out? No, nah, nah. ne we never got glued on. No, but he would get excited. The yeah, chihuahua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, and we, would, I would just pull his dick you a little pull bit. Pull a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And people would be like, "Yo, Chris, pull the dog's dick," and we would laugh. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Um, oh, you're a wild kid, guys. You want me to tell you an unbelievable story about our good friend Mike Cannon with a dog, or do you want me to tell you about my dog first? I could I could tell you an unbelievable story about my cannon and dogs right now. Well, start with yours and then because because okay. that sounds like a closer. Yeah, I mean because the next story I'm about to tell you is fucking wild. Yeah. But so what, Larry? I named him Larry. He's a little dachshund. So good dog name. Good dog name because you know my mother's like, what does he look like to you? Name him, and he looked like a little Jew. Yeah. So I named him Larry. <laughs> That's what it is. It looked like a little Jew dog. He's big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dachshund. You know. Yeah. So. But you know, dachshunds were that was one of Hitler's favorite dogs because they would they were real dachshunds, another dog, real vicious, nasty. I got a mini dachshund, but the dachshunds they were used to burrow into uh, in World War II to go into holes and look for bombs. Yeah. Or Hitler used to attach bombs to dachshunds and have them go into holes and blow themselves up. So that was interesting that I learned at, when I did research on dachshunds when we got one. But so with Larry, um, what I used to do, unfortunately, is because I was I was a 19 year old kid and I was using steroids at the time playing ball. You used ball. to read Mein Kampf to I, it. No, no, no. I, no I, I used to I used to pop Winstrel and I would be what? What's that? It's a steroid, and I would get like roid rage and shit. You used to do steroids? Yeah, I did. Well, I did it for a semester in college. Yeah. yeah well, I'm from Queens. You know? I'm learning a lot about you right now. Yeah. 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 I, by the way, Giannis just put the snooze in, so cuck alert. Cuck, cuck alert. <laughs> so you did you did steroids for a semester? Just yeah. a semester, yeah. And yeah. I was fucking, but I could, yeah, I was dunking on people. But I you had a little down. rage, too. Well, not a little rage. I just was, like, agitated. At I never hit the dog, because I actually did love Larry. But yeah. still, even to this day, like, I'll see him, and, you know, I just don't do anything. I don't put my hands on Larry's him. Larry's still with us. Larry's still with us. Larry's yeah. about 18 years old. Um, just got surgery. He has no feeling in his two back legs. He kind of just drags himself around. It's a little upsetting, but but you know. he developed an immunity to Clorox poison. Yeah, yeah, he, your yeah. preferred method of of killing of poisoning. Yeah. yeah. So what you're a serial killer. So what happened was, and you did. I can't. I don't even know you, cause 
Yeah. This is the episode I found out the most about you. This is this is Chris yeah. Stefano's wild. Oh, wow, this is the dark side. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're letting it out. Yeah. You know what? I give you credit though because you're an honest kid. We've all done bad things. I'm an honest kid. You're about an honest kid. It. I'm yeah. an honest kid. Because the truth is, I do love the dog and I love it, but I just get I get agitated. Yeah. It was a little selfish. I'm not that way anymore, but I was growing up, and the dog would be in the crate all day. I would go to college. You know, and my mom would go to work, so my mom was coming home till seven. But I would get home sometimes at like two o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, and not let the dog out of the crate until my mother got home because I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. It would just be sitting there crying, trying to get its paw out of the crate, and I would just look at it and eat pizza and turn on ESPN and take a nap or go in the room or go outside. I just would because I want to deal with it. So you didn't have a good experience with dog, and nobody really explained to you what no. a dog is. No. What, what? But I knew yeah. that that was inherently wrong to not open up that cage. And it, it's not like it happened all the time. But if I was in a bad mood, I wouldn't open up the cage and I really feel guilty about that now well he only was crying to get out of the cage because he probably was thirsty wanted a drink or he had it to well pee. I would give him water yeah yeah because you, you or he was really had a lot of energy because yeah. dogs actually like the cage if you kind of condition it to to be yeah. like a den for the dog because dogs are den animals yeah. so the cage is kind of a simulated version of their den and I was also kind of a little bit of a stupid kid because I used to think, for some reason, because again, nobody taught me about dogs or animals, yeah. so I used to think that a dog could consume water, kind of like a plant, and it didn't have to drink it. If you just poured it on its fur, <laughs> it would just get hydrated. So there would be times where I would pour water into Larry's crate. This is true, you're making that no, up for comedy. True. No, wow. this is true. And I would pour water into its crate, and yeah. I just think it would soak it up through its fur. <laughs> Yeah, nobody told you didn't. Yeah, nobody told, your dad nobody wasn't told me about your dad wasn't around. My dad wasn't around. Yeah. Well, my your dad, mom was busy working. Well, my, well, let me explain to you who my dad was. So yeah. my dad's the kind of guy. Like I remember, my dad came over to visit me once, and my dog had um, there was a um, a salami chew toy that my dog had, but it was a dog's toy, and my dad cut a piece of it and ate it because he thought it was real salami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's so my dad didn't really know anything either, and then, yeah. and then my dad threw up, and my mom, my my dad was like, you know, Lynn, this salami's no good. She was like, it's the dog's chew toy. I just um yeah I just developed an even deeper respect for your success. Yeah. I mean, you come from a place where uh yeah. at some point in your life you believe that pouring the water Yeah. I on thought a dog was... you you thought a dog was like a uh, like a house plant. Absolutely. Like it was basically yeah. like oh, Chris don't forget to yeah. water the dog yeah. and the plants. Yeah. You thought your mom you thought your mom was being irresponsible for right. not reminding you right. when she said water the plants to include the dog. That's like also too until about honestly, till about fifth or sixth grade, yeah. I used to think that cows. Yeah. I used to think that I didn't know that they the milk came out of their udders. I thought the white part of their fur was the milk, and the spots was steak. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and did I also you, th and I also th I swear to God, and yeah. this is just a lot did of. Did you ever try to shove a cheeseburger in your ass because you thought it was also a mouth? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And this is a lot of things. I thought that, you know, like HIV and AIDS, because, yeah. you know, everyone thought they were going to get it in, in Queens. Because, yeah. you know, it was like a boogeyman disease. Yeah. I thought that I didn't know that you had to have it and, like, give it to me sexually or I give it to you sexually. I thought, like, if, if I made out with you and you had a certain type of saliva chemistry and I had a certain type of saliva chemistry, that could be the wrong type and it could mix and we could both get AIDS. Yeah. I thought that for a long time. Did you? How long did you think, um, for how long of a time did you think that if you touched a Jew, you could catch it? For that, I still believe that. Still believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was still there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and and because I'm not going to lie to you, yeah. the, the first, I told you, the first Jewish person I ever met, I was about 23 years old, the first time I tasted Chinese food yeah. was was about three years ago. Wow. Yeah, I would just walk past them. Yeah. Yeah, and I told you last podcast, I thought Indian food was Native American food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's the true thing. It's unbelievable that you could be in a place so close to the hub of yeah. global civilization. Yeah. Uh, Manhattan. I mean, we're talking about maybe what a mile away from Ridgewood, right. just a straight shot. Yep, mile or two away from Ridgewood. Yeah, you're in a little village a mile away from the most important city culturally in the world, mm -hmm. and you don't meet a Jew in a city full of Jews for 23 years. For 23 years. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, but that's but 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 I, yeah. I've said it before, I think I'm going to say it again, and I think there's going to be a lot of times I'm going to say it in the future. Yeah. You are borough fucking trash. Yes. Bad. Bad. Not bad once. Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. bad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there wasn't one of my birthday parties from the time I was one years old to the time I was 30 years old that wasn't catered by Joe and John's Pizzeria on Forest <laughs> Avenue in Ridgewood, Queens. Joe and John's Pizzeria was, that, that was, 
pepperoni wheels for everybody. We would get pepperoni wheels. We'd get no. We'd get one pep, yeah. one plain, one Sicilian, yeah. and maybe like one buffalo chicken or something random. Yeah, and then we'd get a whole tub. We'd get a tub uh -huh. like I'm talking about over a hundred chicken fingers. <laughs> And gallons of honey mustard sauce. And also, you, uh, zap, did you get any Zeppelin's for dessert or no? Uh, no, for dessert we'd always have cannolis. 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 My Aunt Janet would make tiramisu and my Aunt Annie would make peanut butter cheesecake. Yeah. And then we would also have a cake. It'd always be from Baskin Robbins. Yeah. It's pretty classy, actually, yeah. Baskin Robbins. It's a good uh, ice cream, as far as ice cream cake goes. Yeah. Baskin Robbins. Yeah. Top of the line. Yeah. And every year on Christmas, I'd get a Christmas ornament. No garlic I'd get nuts, a new though? Christmas ornament. Yeah, you, you saw me today. I love garlic yeah, nuts. Yeah. But yo, can I tell you the Mike Cannon story? Absolutely. Real quick. And fucking we'll talk about cuz. Okay. So Your what, stories are pretty good yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a while. Yeah. Yeah. So Mike Cannon, okay? Great comic. Go to I, at I am Mike Cannon on, on you know social media or whatever. He's got a great podcast himself called The Irish Goodbye. And if you go back to one of our earlier episodes. He was a, he was a guest. He was our only um, actual guest in the entertainment business. Comedian guest. Yeah. yeah. He was had... the only actual guest that we scheduled. He's, Everybody else just showed up. Yeah, he's the actually only guest who gets paid money to try to entertain people. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Mike Cannon. He so. was actually one of the only people we've had in here who we knew 100% was not going to poison us. Yeah, yeah. because he's a good kid, Mike Cannon. Yeah. Also a handsome kid with salt and pepper hair. Yeah, but he does kind of look like Katie Lang a little bit. A little yeah. bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah, he looks like he's getting estrogen therapy. So Mike Cannon was about 15, 16, 17 years old, somewhere in there. His parents went away. So this kid's from Rockland County. So, when, you know, up there in Rockland County... You know, they, they have house parties. It's like kind of like we see in the movies. You know, got bad kids that are doing drugs. You know, Well, for the people outside of New York, Rockland County, just to explain. Yeah. Like Westchester, right? Westchester. Above yeah. Manhattan. It's above Manhattan. Yeah. But it's, you know, people go there. They got nice houses up there. Everybody's father, you know, is either cop, fireman. They work. You know, they work in Wall Street. But it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's just crazy white kids. Yeah. Um, or actually all, all kinds of nationalities, um, demographics. So he's having a house party one day. And, uh, you know, they're smoking weed, drinking beers, whatever. And they pour beer into the family dog's bowl, and they start blowing. They start um, uh, blowing bong hits into the dog's mouth. The dog's <laughs> drinking the beers. The dog's <laughs> drinking the beers. Uh, getting bong hits to the face, you know, because these are, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, trash. Yeah. You know, kids just not knowing what to do. I can picture Mike Cantu with that little weird thumb. Well, he has. He's got a real he's disgusting got a real thumb. Disgusting thumb. Yeah. Tweet yeah. at tweet at Mike Cannon right now. And tell him how gross his fucking thumb is. It, just tweet yeah. him about it and tell him to show you a picture of his little baby dick thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Great kid. Fucking cute butt, Mike Cannon. Yeah. Um, by the way, Mike Cannon's wedding, best wedding I've ever been to, so you got some pressure on you now. Yeah, well. Great wedding. Great wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Mike Cannon's um, – so what happened was is he was at this house uh, – he was at the house party. His parents leave, and he's doing bong hits on the dog, mm -hmm. has beer in the dog's bowl. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the dog dies. Okay. <laughs> No, I swear. They killed the dog. No, yeah. the, that that yeah. concoction of stuff killed the dog. Yeah, as it will. So don't do that if you're yeah, listening. Yeah, don't do that. Ever. So the dog dies. Okay, yeah. so now they got a situation. These are 16-year-old kids. The dog dies. What kind what, of dog was it? How old? I think it was a Golden know? Retriever. It oh, was like boy. the family dog. They yeah. killed the fucking uh, lab. Yeah. So the dog, so so Mike's parents. You know the cops are going to investigate it because labs are basically the white people of dogs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if that was a pity, they'd just be like, you know what? Yeah, the it was cops wouldn't even cops wouldn't even show up. You know, you live yeah, around a lot yeah, of those the cops. Guys. Would just say it's gang related. They just say it's gang related. Yeah, that's right. what they say. But if you got a fucking golden retriever down, yeah, guaranteed. Yeah, detectives are coming to your house. That's a commercial dog. Yeah. So, so Mike's with that. So he's like, he doesn't know what to do. So he starts digging a hole. He's just gonna bury the dog. He doesn't know what to do. Wow. With that, his parents. Right, John Wayne Gacy. Yeah. He's next a time I see him, I'm, I'm calling him John Wayne Gacy. How crazy is this? Mike has all the cats that have ever been in his family buried in his backyard. Mike buries his cats in his backyard. Still to this day. He had a cat, Frank. We were supposed to do a gig in Syracuse, actually. Syracuse Funny Bone. And he canceled the day of because his, his cat died that day. And he buried in his backyard that night. And when you go to a party at Mike Cannon's house where he's from, his dead cats are in the yard in a pit. How many of them? Four or five. That means he's killing them, because who has four or five cats throughout a lifetime? Yeah. He's racking up bodies. Yeah. He's the John Wayne Gacy of goddamn cats. Yeah, yeah he kills cats. So what happened is Mike's parents come home unexpectedly. Yeah. So he freaks out. He's still high. He's still drunk. And he's got a dead... He, he he's killed, got a dead dog in the house. That's their dog. That's the fi That's the family dog. Excuse me. That's the family dog. Wow. Okay? So what he decides to do, yeah. what his plan is, 
is because he just got his driver's permit. So what he does, he takes the dog out back, carries the dog's dead body out back, <laughs> gets his father's car, and puts the dog up against a tree, and takes the car and backs the car up into the dog's dead body. <laughs> to, this uh, is brutal. To make it seem like the dog got hit by a car. To make it seem like the dog got hit by a car. He backed, he forward, put the car in drive and reversed it three times, each time slamming the dog's already dead body <laughs> into the tree to make it look like a car accident. Unbeknownst to Mike, his mom and dad were watching him through the bay window do the entire <laughs> fucking thing. So they watched their son take the dog's dead, lifeless body, yeah. put it behind the car, yeah. and drive and reverse it three times into a tree. Mike got in the house. He said his parents told him to pack up his shit. They took him right to military school. And he they finished. Did. Yeah, and he, yeah, the last two years was didn't see his friends. He finished. He graduated from uh, like some military school upstate. <laughs> oh shit! How fucking wild is that? Yeah. So he was a fucked up. He was fuck. He was fucking off. He wasn't doing good grades. Absolutely. Yeah. And they yeah. Start, yeah. So they said you're gonna go be a soldier, kid, because you just killed our beloved family dog. Yeah. And now you're so stupid. Yeah. You're so stupid. Yeah, you're taking the dead dog and you're back in the car into the fucking tree. Absolutely. To try to smash this dog. Yeah. Wow, that's one of the most horrific and hilarious stories I've ever heard. I got to admit, does it make that's making me feel opposites. I don't know if there's very few stories that have made me feel two opposite emotions at the same, same exact time. time. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't make fucking putting a little Clorox and dog balls sound so bad anymore. No, no, yeah. no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah you're yeah. you're lower. Yeah, you guys, yeah. you guys are both outer burrow. Yeah, yeah trash. fucking monkey trash. The only things other other bad thing I do with animals, and this is the last thing, is we used to go around. My friend got a slingshot. Yeah, my boy once, and we would break bus terminal windows. We would drive up and down Francis Lewis Boulevard yeah. and break bus terminal windows with the slingshot. But we would also look for stray cats and try to hit the cats with the slingshot. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, bad but I mean kids. cats, are like whatever, yeah. you know, psychopaths, cats. Yeah, a little bit. Still bad. But cats are gross. Yeah. Can we admit but that? Listen, that's a disgusting yeah. animal. We got to talk to some of the girls who are listening here now. Yeah. We know a lot of the girls here are going to be, you guys are a little confused right now. Right. We are history hyenas. Yes. Okay. We are a nature and history podcast. Nature sometimes can be brutal. Yeah. Now, most but, of the time. Most of the time. Now, if you're, you're probably listening from the safe distance of Alabama or, you know, maybe yeah. North Carolina. Staten Island. Uh, Staten Island, somewhere in a Island nice fans. suburb. Yeah, some you could be. I'm saying the rest of the people from around the world. The people from New York are kind of they don't they don't got a problem with this. Yeah, I'm talking about those people out there. Yeah, you know you live it. You live by a Denny's. You live by maybe a Cracker Barrel. Yep. You're listening to this, and you're probably going, "Wow, he's got we got some monkeys up there." Yeah. And yeah, you wouldn't be wrong. Yeah. But here's the deal: when you grow up in Queens, New York, the kids from Chrissy's neighborhood when they're young. A little bit like hyenas. Yeah. It's almost kind of nature. Yeah. It's almost like nature. It's like a nature kill. Yeah. If you're hitting a cat with a slingshot, yeah. it's kind of like you're doing it for survival. In right. a way. In a way. Yeah. Yeah, because because the truth is, you know, when we were kids, we just felt like, you know, the cats are just around. They're fucking eating my mother's grass and shit. They're eating the plants. You yeah. know, I fucking cat. You'd always hear your mom and dad are these fucking cats. Yeah. So what happened? We get a slingshot. We start taking them out because we love our mom and dad. And, and, we love, and, we, and we love the United States of America. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just protect your neighborhood. Yeah, we're protecting neighbor. That's just, that's what we do. Yeah, it's like animals are very territorial. So when you're a kid, you do things like that. That's what it is. And look, you listen, okay? That's what boys do. You people from wherever you live, you're the kids around those names, they did bad things too. Yeah, because now, now I'll tell you how much I've changed now. Yeah. Like uh, my daughter, there was a, uh, uh, my daughter found in, like an ant in, uh, in the house the other day, and yeah. she went to go step on it, and I said, don't do that, and I let it go on my finger, and we put it outside. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, an ant. Yeah, but why, yeah, you actually killed a bug in my car, and then you felt bad that you killed the bug. I felt, the, I felt bad I killed that Bugs bug. Bugs you can kill. Yeah, There's they, a lot of them. They got plenty of reserves. Yeah. They don't do anything for yeah, us. Yeah, but they got families and hearts and shit, cuz. You know, like they, they... They do? Yeah, people yeah. miss them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, people miss them. Yeah. Nobody's gonna miss a cat. No. Yeah. They're solitary creatures. They yeah, really are. They, yeah, keep to themselves. You, always, you know, accidentally step in cat shit. Cats you know? were uh, domesticated, uh, they believe, in Egypt. Right. Um, uh, to kill rodents, obviously. That's what cats do. That's why yeah. whenever you go into a supermarket in New York City, I don't know where your guys, you guys have Walmarts, so you don't really have bodega cats. Yeah. But when you see a cat in a bodega, that cat is there because the mice and the rats n won't even try to come into the bodega because yeah. they will smell the predator cat. 
presence in the bodega, yeah. and they will stay away from that bodega. The, the, the trade-off with the bodega is you're always going to get a sandwich that's going to have no mouth shit on it. It's going to be a vermin-free sandwich, but every sandwich you get is going to taste like tuna fish. It will. Just is what it is. And cardboard. It's cat food. Yeah. And cardboard, yeah. yeah. It's just cat food. Yeah. So and it's going to have a little bit of dust on the roll, Yeah. but they're good sandwiches, Yeah. and like Yana said, you will never, ever, ever have vermin in that food. Yeah, because the cats keep the vermin away. Um, cats... Our, there's a big thing. Our cat's domesticated. Kind of. Because they're so independent. Right. That you can't really say they're domesticated. Right. You know, they're kind of... They're independent. Cats murder everything around the house. They right. murder birds. They, they, the, the, the prey drive of a cat, even a domesticated cat, is still 100% there. But, Unlike dogs, they will kill whatever, and they're opportunity killers, and they kill just to kill, not even to eat. So, will a cat, though, a cat, um, you know, after it kills a few mice, the mice won't even come near the house. So, the mice start to get smart enough to know, and the rats, that there's a cat in that house. They can smell it, they, they stay smell away. It. So, if you have cat, multiple cats in your house, you will not have a vermin problem. You will have no vermin problem. And whatever vermin problem you will have, they will be dead. Look, the vermin will try to sneak in because they, they, they need to get yeah. the food. They're yeah. fucking vermin. They yeah. gotta eat. They're, they're, they're fucking rats. They're rats. You know, you call someone a rat, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah they're rats fucking rats. and mice will try to get in. If there's food available, they're opportunity scavengers. That's what they do. They also kill and hunt, but they're scavengers, especially right. around humans. Right. They scavenge. Uh, so they'll try. A lot, of, a lot of them will stay away, but they will die. The cats will get them. Right. The cats will sense yeah. them, smell them. Find them, chase them, and then bat them around. First, what they do is they probably break its neck. This yeah. is how evil cats are. They'll break the little mouse's neck, right. and they'll let the mouse flop around. And they'll get, it to the, they'll get the mouse to a point where the mouse feels like it may have a chance to get away. But the cat knows it has no chance. And every time it tries to get away, it'll bat it more and bat it around more and play with it until it dies. It beats it to death. Beats it to death slowly. Tortures it. Actually tortures it. That's a that's your opinion or that's that is not that's an a opinion. scientific opinion. That's that a scientific is fact. A one hundred percent fact. They murder these things slowly. Yes, and there's no real understanding for why they do it. Okay. So, but the fact that they do do it is, like I said, a fact. Yeah. Now, if you handle a cat, the key to domesticating a cat, fully domesticating a cat to human contact or whatever, is to handle it a lot as a as a as a little tiny cub cat domesticated you know yeah. kitten if you handle the kitten a lot that's the key if you don't as an adult the cat does not give a fuck all about humans and will cats will survive on the street on their own dogs got, will die well if you declaw a cat it's you fuck it fuck it yeah you kill the cat when you, you declaw you it take away its ability to hunt take away its ability to defend itself against right. other cats so that's cats really fucked up are highly territorial will fight other cats if your neighbor has a cat and you have a cat those cats fucking hate each other and they will fight Right. They will fight, and they mark their territory with piss, and they, para they they will, on its own, a cat knows how to avoid a car on its own. A dog will just run right into it. Right. Dog needs us to communicate to it right. with what to do. Right. Dogs are actually as smart as like a two-year-old toddler Wow. as far as communicating and cooperating with humans. Dogs are more cooperative with humans than our closest relative chimpanzees so in a lot of ways they have determined even recently this is recently in studies that dogs are in a lot of ways more intelligent than chimpanzees which wow. is fucking wild this is the type of so more art. responsible for our evolution than a chimp well, chimp, we evolved from the chimp. Yeah, so we chimp has the chimp. nothing to do with our. The only thing that chimp has to do with our well, evolution we from is it. that well, we, we didn't evolve. That's another thing people have a miss. Um, we didn't evolve from the chimp. We share a common ancestor with the chimp. Okay. So we evolved from that common ancestor. The chimps went that way, and we went that way. So we share a common ancestor with the chimp. From the same neighborhood as the chimp. We are ninety. What is it? Ninety six percent. I think it was uh, ninety eight. Maybe ninety eight percent same DNA. Yeah. It's in dispute. Evolution is not a debate. Religion is 100%. I hate to say it. You may love us and you may want to turn off this podcast if you want. Look, we're still entertaining kids. It's a free country. You can yeah. believe whatever you want to believe. You can believe whatever you want to believe. I'm a spiritual kid. I grew up Christian, whatever. Yeah. But that we share, okay? We have the apparatus and the intelligence and the research and the, the know-how now to determine and to analyze DNA. 
we are 96% the same. Or right. 98. What is it? 96%. The uh, number of genetic differences between humans and chimps is 10 times smaller than that between mice and rats. So there you fucking go. So the we so we're closer to a chimp than, than a mouse to a rat. rat. Yeah, and that's wow. how nature it works. You see these animals; they evolve from other animals, and you can clearly see it in their visage. Visage means face for our kids from Queens. Yeah. So in their phenotype, that's the structure of the face for the kids from Queens. I'm talking to you, fucking kids from Queens, though. Yeah. This podcast for everybody. Yeah, because smart kids and dumb kids. Yeah, because a lot of my friends from Queens listen up now, so they don't. Yeah, and they, a lot of them unfollow they hate Giannis. Me bad. A yeah. lot of them unfollow Giannis because they said he's a fucking liberal cuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what they said. A lot of my friends unfollow yeah. Giannis, but you guys should follow him because he's fucking very entertaining. Yeah, and I'm not really that much of a liberal cuck. No, at but all. to my friends, to my to friends, my friends are, yeah, hard, yeah. My friends, I'm are like horrified. Stalin to your friends. Yeah, absolutely. I'm like a fucking so like a communist. Yeah. 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 They want to punch me in the face. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. So cats are pretty much solitary. We'll survive on their own and actually will patrol the area of your house and kill everything in its fucking sight. It's actually a big problem. They kill a lot they kill a lot of the local wildlife and cats. The, cats. They have a secret life as a killer that the owners do not know about. If you let your cat out of the house, it will kill fucking everything smaller than it that it will find. And it eats it. It doesn't eat it. It just kills it. Sometimes it might. It so may it's eat still it. gonna eat the, all the cat food you buy. For yeah, because it. it's not eating the mouse for protein. Yeah, it, it's just murdering it. It just has the prey drive. That's the kill drive. That's in there is just there. Cat and cats need to kill. Yeah, cats will kill, and it is what it is. Dogs, since now we get into dogs. You want to tell you something else interesting about a cat that I learned at physical therapy school? Yeah, it has this thing. It's got a Go- penis you can jerk to make your friends laugh. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. It's got a spike dick too. Yeah. Why do cats got spike dicks? Bad. Kite, sp- you want to hear something fucking wild? Yeah, let me hear about all. F- all cats, all felines have um, spikes on their tongue to lick uh, to lick meat off of bones. So it's the, the it scratches the meat off the bones. They've evolved to have. If you look at a cat's tongue under a microscope, it's little blades. It has blades. Do you feel on it when tongue. it licks your arm? You do. You do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You can pull up, but you can Google. Why it. does it have a spike dick, and why does it spike spike the, a cat's vagina? Because they're fucking punk rock. Cuss. Punk rock. Cuss. I don't yeah. know. That's a good question. But it, cause that's true. Is it true? Yeah. That's why it's a very painful sex. Wow. Yeah, they like hyenas. Yeah. Yeah. Look at go close up of a cat's tongue. Under the microscope, or cat spike tongue, and then also look up cat spike. Yeah, look dick. at look at the tongue and the, look at that. Look at that. Look at those yeah. blades. Now those are blades. Those are like fucking blades. To 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 when they're licking the bone, they get whatever little meat residue is there that that has protein in it, and it gets all the rest of it. Yeah. Google cat cat spike penis. Cats and all the cats species different. All the different types of cats on the planet are really the most ruthless and efficient fucking yeah. killers on the planet. Yeah, look at its spiked dick now, too. Yeah, look at that dick. It's got spikes on spikes it. Spikes on it, so it really hurts the female cat. Yo, why is that? Can you look that up, cuz? Yeah, what's, what's the evolution of that? Wild. Wow. It yeah. just looks like herps on his dick. Yeah. Um, Doesn't that look like herpes on a dick? Or like, that's got to hurt, right? A little spiked dick in the puss? Holy shit. That's fucking violent. It's fucking wild. Well, I was going to say something about cats before this. Yeah. Fuck. I forgot. You blew one up with a firecracker when you were four. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> one of the main purposes of the barbs on a cat's penis is to keep the female cat from escaping before mating is complete. Mating is also painful for female cats, both because of the barbs and because the male cat begins by biting the back of the female's neck. Wow. Yeah, so that's a basic, big... It's basically rape. Yeah, I was going to say. Wow. Yeah, you want to talk about me too? It's been going on a long time with cats. <laughs> cats. <laughs> Yeah. I mean that's fucking brutes, my goods. That kind it. of like evolved into yeah. rape, rape. Yeah. yeah, man, it's totes, brutes, my goods. I mean, isn't all of isn't all of procreating in nature though essentially rape? I think Louis, all... Louis C.K. has a funny joke about that. Oh, really? Where he goes like, "Yeah, it's like animals is just basically rape. They rape, just like yeah. just hop on. And it is basically kind that's of rape. what it is, but it's not rape because the um the female chooses." The oh, female okay. always kind of chooses who she's going to mate with in, in a lot of ways. Right. And it's based on who the strongest. The stronger guy's got to fight and figure out which one. That's why when you hear, like, you know, women, women go, like, you know, toxic masculinity, where you want you want to know. It's like Einstein said, if you want to know the, the real truths, look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. Um, male aggression and testosterone has been 100% shaped through evolution by female mate choice. Interesting. 100%. Yeah. So male testosterone and our viciousness, of course, there's a dark side to it, but 
has been preferential to women for our survival um, up until this service-based economy that we live in now. Probably around the Industrial Revolution, that's where it was kind of like, hey, guys, calm down. The machines right. are doing your work. But up until that point, you wanted the strongest, the most ruthless dude to protect you and your family, to uh, raise the cattle, to, uh, to lift whatever machinery it is. Those were things that helped our species survive. Right. So cut the horse shit, everybody. Right. We're all going crazy. Yeah. You people are crazy. Right. Cut the horse shit. Right. You're not making bad points. Yeah, we need to figure out how to way to curb it and, and maybe evolve past a lot of the violence that comes with. But don't act like <laughs> don't act like women are these innocent victims. You guys have been cooperating with us in our species survival. Moreover, dictating how our species is going to survive with your mate choice since the beginning of time. We're no different than every other animal. And that's what it is in every other animal. The female chooses who is going to fucking shoot her goo inside her pussy. There we go. We just got a wow. new character. I want to melt, welcome a new character <laughs> to the podcast. I'm happy he's here. And this guy is known as FNFC, Fox News Freddy Feta Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Fox News, Freddy Feta Cheese, folks. <laughs> Am I saying anything that's wrong? Yo, fucking Foxy, Fe yo, Fox News, Freddy Feta Cheese is a wild. I mean, you genuinely <laughs> just yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a Sean Hannity fucking fastball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true though. Yeah, it is actually. True. Yeah, even Zach sort of backing away from the mic a little yeah, bit. Like, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah. Well, it's true. We're both complicit in in the no, testosterone yeah. and downfalls. And don't act like. There weren't women queens who cut people's fucking heads off. In fact, the maybe the worst serial killer of all time yeah. was what's her name? From uh, uh, yeah. Belgium. Belgium. Fuck. I'm yeah, forgetting. what's I'm her name? I'm blanking on her name now. What's Damn name? it. What's her name? We, we, gotta just, get her we, name. we got Zach Isis for the Google. Yeah. The the worst female serial killer in history. She I think she is the worst serial killer of all time. And it was a woman. And it wasn't the way women typically do it by poisoning and all that bullshit. This chick tortured and and dismembered and sexually abused and uh like virgin girls little girls and 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 children yeah hold she on. was absolutely brutal what was her name i'm going to find it for you right now cuz yeah. but you, you know i got to go back you sent me a lot of unnecessary texts um Elizabeth Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory. Elizabeth Bathory. Because that hurt my feeling. I sent you a lot of unnecessary texts. No, 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 I was kidding. All right, I so I won't kidding. text you. No, I like when you text. I like yeah. when you text. Yeah, I like when you text me out. I bit, know bit, you bit, don't. Bit, yeah. bit. You love social contact yeah. bad. I mean, because every You're time I get- You're a dog more than a cat. I'm every, more of a cat than a dog. Every time I get in my car, I call you. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're cute kids. We're cute kids. Yeah, she was from Hungary, and she was. Um, she has been labeled by Guinness Book of World Records the most prolific female murderer, though the precise number of her victims is debated. But she is accused of torturing and killing right now over 500 young women between 1585 and 1609. I'm sorry, six. The highest number of victims cited during Pathori's trial was 650 women. Yeah, and it's so, probably more. It's probably around 800 because she acted with impunity for about 20 years. Yeah. Yep. So she killed all She women. would um, hold the women in solitary confinement, too. Yeah. And Queen Elizabeth, probably the greatest ruler of all time. I'll give that to you. But she caught fucking Anne Boleyn's. Who'd she caught? She cut Mary Queen of Scots' fucking, fucking head. Fucking head. Right, right off. off. Right the fuck off. Get it out of here. Toxic masculinity. Get it out of here. Yes. Toxic femininity. Nature yeah. is fucking brutal. Yeah. And that's why we're bringing you this podcast to talk about history, sometimes through the lens of nature. Absolutely. Sometimes nature through the lens of history. But we're trying to bring some fucking sanity back yeah. to this fucking because world. That has fallen off the extreme yeah, rails. But what did I tell you, though? Yeah. What did I tell you? What do I Fox tell News, Freddy Cheese? Fox, that's a good first one. of all, yeah, FNFFFC yeah. is a fucking wild guy. <laughs> Fox News, Freddy Feta Cheese. Um, yeah, you're what? I'm happy that, that we got a new character. But what I need to tell you is that everything you say is true, mm -hmm. but you're wasting your time and energy trying to get anyone to rally behind this because it's too far gone. So just enjoy your time. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy every day and let, you know, extreme people who want to tell you that you're a piece of shit for eating, you know, antibiotic fucking filled chickens and all. just let them say whatever they want to say and do what they want to do and make you feel bad for not being a vegan or riding a fucking unicycle or protesting every fucking day. Just let them let those people just let them get their energy out and do what they need to do. And you and I, 
we'll just keep living our life and we'll just have fun in the small dose we have fun. We'll fucking sit down by the water. We'll realize Hold that hands. every single day is a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, when every day can we shoot like, cats with slingshots? Shoot cats with slingshots, cause every time you get a little lonely, I get a little soft serve ice cream, kiss you on the lips, whatever you need to do, <laughs> you know. So, so it's we're like, doing that anyway. We're doing but that. I but can't handle it. I know. I can't handle yeah, it. Yeah, I can't. It's, I, you know, I gotta get out. Here's the thing. Here's, I can't here, handle let it. me tell you something about Giannis. Yeah. Every single time you guys see one of his long, you know, his classic, you know, forty paragraph posts about what the problem in the world is, just know that an hour before that, he told me that exact same thing yeah. and told me word for word. Don't worry, I'm not going to post this on social media. There's no point. And then I start the timer within 15 minutes. It's posted on social media. So true. Yeah. I yeah. can't help. I can't, yeah. I can't handle what's happened to this world. You're so sh yeah. with social media. I'm so sh yeah. yeah. You're so, so social I'm media. I'm so fucking bad. Yeah. So listen. If you appreciate the civilization that we live in now. Civilization is a hilarious word. It is. And you also remind, wanted, um, you wanted me to remind you of a word that I said uh, and I, I, I found it the other day because you were like, please. And it was uh, the word was evidentially. Evidentially. Yeah. yeah. Chrissy said evidentially the other day. And yeah. I was like, please write that down. Yeah. Your borough trash. Yeah. I was like, evidentially. Evidentially, that happened to be the wrong reason in which we was talking about what was going to happen. Yeah. Evidentially, she had said to me a few times. <laughs> well, evidentially, Your Honor. <laughs> evidentially, that doesn't that doesn't pan out. Evidentially. Yeah. Evidentially, I want to point, uh, Your Honor, to uh, <laughs> the evidentials that I have up here. Yeah. These are my 10 points of evidentials. <laughs> You're fucking wild. I'm from Smart kid with a PhD who yeah. says evidentially. I'm from New York City. Poughkeepsie! Yeah. Bad. Yeah. So here's a new segment we're doing called, before we get into uh, dogs, and we'll talk about them briefly. Well, I mean, we've been talking, the podcast is 45 minutes in, and we still haven't talked about the thing we want to talk We're about. We're two straight this white males. What, yeah, yeah. yeah, we talk, this pod, we lose listeners day by day. Day by day. No, we gain fans. No, by the way, all the fans of the podcast, we're starting to, every single day now, somebody's starting to yell something history I hate is related, calls TBGs, TBPs, or do the cackles. Thank you so much to um to Lexi. Uh, I, I told you I'd give you a shout out on the podcast. Hold on, wait, I just want to fucking get this right. Um, the Matrix is growing. The matriarch is growing big time. Bad, 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 bad. Yeah. Um, thank you so much to um, I think it was Lexi G. She's oh yeah, Lexi G. Thank you so much for coming to the shows and being a Patreon member. We uh really appreciate it. Um and yeah, I just wanted to give you a shout out uh to everybody who came to shows this weekend, uh supports the history agnes and the Bay Ridge Boys. It means a lot. Yeah. Uh as listen, as the more you tell your friends and the bigger this grows, me and Chrissy, our goal, and I tell you, our single goal is we want this thing to get so big that me and Chrissy take this podcast live and bring it to your fucking hometown. Absolutely. So you make it grow in your hometown to the point where we would fill up a small fucking living room. We'd do yep. it in your living room, cuz. Absolutely. If you ask Chrissy, he'll say yes, and we'll be on a plane to your living room. A if you ask me, it's not going to happen until we fill a theater. Cuz, yeah, I'll come to any single one of your houses right now if you write it on the community board. If you want me and Yanni Pappas to come to your house, whatever, wherever you live in the entire world, me and Yanni Pappas will come there, pay our ways and accommodations for free, and perform <laughs> for free. Come there right now. And cuz, I also just want to give a shout-out to the Nora Cupcake Company yeah. up in Hartford. Hartford, Connecticut. Who, wow, no. Why? They're going to do a pseudo? Yeah. Nor Fucking dude, wild! wild! Nora Cupcake Company has finally agreed. We fi we've been asking for months, and finally we got Nora Cupcake Company who will be uh, supplying us with a pseudo penis hygiene cake made of red velvet. Uh, and I think the pseudo penis is going to be made of a, a black uh, uh, a chocolate banana. And... Um, and uh, that cake will be on uh, for next week or the week after this podcast. But I just want to give a shout out to the Nora Cupcake Company. Go follow them on Instagram, N-O-R-A-C-U-P-C-A-K-E-C-O, -C -C -E Nora Cupcake Co. on Instagram. The fucking cupcakes and sweets I got are fucking delicious. Where are they located? Hartford, Connecticut. Wow. Yeah, home of Mark Twain. Because I'll be honest, I didn't think you were going to be able to do it. Pulled it off. Because. Yeah, pulled it off. How, did you watch The Secret? Mm -hmm. Because you're good at asking the universe for things, and the yeah. universe does provide. That the universe provides. So after we get that, after we get that uh, cake, we're gonna have the next next ask, which I won't reveal until we get the cake in our possession. Wow. But I already got another ask out there for the people for the matriarch. <laughs> <laughs> These requests are going to get wilder and wilder. Yeah. Look, we are history hyenas. Our requests are not going to be run of the mill. No. Our no. guests aren't run yeah. of the mill. We yeah. brought a couple of psychopaths in here. Absolutely. Our guests are not run of the mill. By yeah. the way, Rafael DeLuca has an amazing new mix out oh. called Plain and Simple. Plain we're going to put it out. 
But for yeah, now, we have to put plain and simple. Yeah. We have to. We'll put it out on our, on our, our Bay Ridge Boys Instagram at Bay Ridge Boys, and we'll put it out on the Patreon community board. Community board, go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys and be a part of the matriarchy. Yeah, and also we have a Facebook page, Bay Ridge Boys on Facebook. Yeah. Now, here's our new segment we're going to be doing weekly called The Fucking History Hyena's Wild Fact of the Day. Yeah. Yeah, this one was fucking wild. Yeah. So, the this H- guy. The, what is it? History Hyena's. You do it. You do it. Quick. But, but, but History Hyena's Wild Fact of the Day. Yeah, the quick. HHFW all day. Fucking Chris the Spectrinal. Yeah. You're fucking on the spectrum. Yeah. So. No, the, no, the HHWFOD. I apologize. Oh, wow, you messed yeah, up. Yeah, I slipped up a little bit because there's no air conditioner on it. Because how many times are you gonna have to open it and close the door fifty times because nah. to punish yourself yeah. for messing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have yeah. to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bleed myself a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that when you're spe- on the spectrum. Yeah, you, that means you threw off your whole what yeah. week day. I don't yeah, know. Now, now I have to eat two and a half cannolis. Yeah. Did you count a lot of stuff when you were a kid? Like count steps? Yeah. Count- every time I would come in, I would count all the windows. I'd yeah. count tiles on the floor. Yeah. 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 So the wild history hyena fact of the day is um, recently uh, this anthropologist did a study where he wanted to study the porn habits, the Google, mm. the porn habits. So he contacted Pornhub, asked them for their metrics okay. to find out what people were Googling because he feels like, you know, people when they're asked, when they're asked about what you're into, okay. people will say things, but they're most likely to lie about what they're really into when asked directly. Okay. But he believes that the the porn searches and what people are watching as far as porn is what the truth is. Sure. And it's what their fantasies are and what so so one of the wildest facts. A lot of the things are wild. You can right. you can Google the article and read it for yourself. And it was it was the the article was published in Vox, which is an extremely left leaning uh publication, right? Okay. And even the guy admitted that he hated this fact because he feels like it it uh, gives misogynists ammunition. So he even admitted he hated it, but he said it, it is what it is. Right. And it's strange. And again, it, it, there's a lot of other strange things. But this one is that women watch more porn with violence against women than men do. Wow. 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 How fucking wild is the human brain? Human brain is nuts. And yeah. I got to be honest with you, I have never watched porn with violence against Neither women. Neither have I. Never. I do watch I've a- never watched any porn with anyone with a vagina. But yeah, yeah, you're all trans all the time. Guys. Yeah. No, guys. Guys, yeah. yeah. But well, like let me ask you so I wa- I I uh, a lot of times, my favorite porn to watch is cum shot compilation. I like to just watch women one after another getting getting shots to the face, getting money shots to the face. Yeah. Is that considered violent? Is no. that what we're talking about? I, I don't know. That's a good question. You know, yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's I, don't, a good I don't look for the violence. It's just like, yeah, like yeah. there's something about. I kind of like because I like to see a guy's dick explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. You're a funny, yo, because you're a funny fucking kid. Yeah. You're a naturally fucking funny kid. My girlfriend got um my girlfriend got some cupcakes. She got some crazy donuts. Cra- holy cream donuts. Yeah. And uh she fucking messaged me and Chris in a group chat and she told us she had a donut for each of us. So this is a true story. I yeah. know you listen to this and you think that we lie. We don't lie. Yeah. We don't lie. Okay? This is a true fucking story, Isis. My girlfriend came home with the donuts. The one she got for me was Oreo cookie cream kind of thing because she knows that's my favorite flavor. Right. And then she got you a peanut butter uh, chocolate. Peanut, peanut butter chocolate donut. Yeah. Right. So Chrissy had a full day of things to do. Full day. He had to run in the city to maybe do three spots. Who knew what he had to do? Spots. Yeah, I had to get an oil change. I had to get. I had to take my daughter to the nursery school. I had to, yeah, I had to do spots. So yeah. listen to this true story. Chris D, from his house, yeah. runs. It's about a two and a half mile run. Yep. He jogs to my house yep. to eat the donut. <laughs> Eats the donut standing up as soon as he comes in the door. Yeah. Sits down for about three to five minutes. <laughs> yeah. And then jogs back. Yeah. That is a true story, fucking Zach. true. That's yeah. a true story. He fucking jogged to my house to yeah. eat a donut. Because I love donuts so much. And Giannis, he, when he told me he had the donuts, he said he ate the Oreo crumble. And I said, did you eat the peanut butter one? And he said, no. And I said, because if you had... I would jog over there, and you'd have to shit it back into my mouth. <laughs> that's another true story. Yeah. And I laughed bad. bad. And that's where I said, yo, you're a funny fucking kid. Yeah, yeah. Because that shit got me good. Yeah, I jogged up and then completely negated the jog yeah. with the donut. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking wild. That was a good donut, cuz. Real good donut. That donut was real fucking yeah. good. Yo, fucking... Um, 
Yeah, I, I, and I, and I had a, I've been falling off a little bit with the sweets. I do not want to check the blood sugar, but I'm, I, I'm, I have to get it under control again. It's not out of control like it was last year. I think my, I think my, uh, my blood, st- blood sugar is still okay, but it's, it's, you know, I got to just be a little careful. Well, what we got exercise. We really more. have gotten off. We really have not really been too cute lately. Now, I mean, you had five slices of pizza today. Yeah, we have. Five, we got, we got to get back to being a couple of cuties with smoothies. Yeah. We've really deviated from the smoothies. Right we haven't had. Bit. I haven't had a smoothie or a vegetable juice in about three days. That's the problem. Have you had? When's the last time you had a problem. smoothie or a vegetable juice? Well, actually, I, I did have a smoothie re- recently, but I also with the smoothie. Had about six slices of pizza. So, so, you know, one step forward, six steps back. What are you going to do? But listen, people out there, we believe that smoothies, if you have a sugar problem or you're a little overweight, switch to fucking smoothies like Chris did for a little while. Yes. And you will get your health back in order. Absolutely. Because smoothies are magical. And once you put it to your face, take a picture and we will post it on our Instagram at Bay Ridge Boys. And you will be hashtagged. Kitties yeah. with smoothies. Kitties with smoothies. Kaya. And yeah, if you want to check uh, check us out where we're going to be, um, you can go to uh, christycomedy.com. Check out all my dates coming up. I'm going to be in uh, I'm going to be in Dallas at the uh, 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 Addison Improv, July 19th to the 21st, and then Montreal Comedy Festival, July 26th to the 28th, and then August 5th to the 8th. Chrissy D and Yanni P at the Borgata in Atlantic City. We're going to have a good time at that. Yeah. yeah. And go to GiannisPappas.net. You can follow me on Twitter, Giannis Pappas, all one word. You can follow me on Instagram, Giannis Pappas. Follow Bay Ridge Boys on Instagram. Absolutely. Yeah. And now we've reached the point of the podcast where we get to read the Patreon members, the new members of the Matriarch. Cute. We want to we welcome you. We want to welcome you uh, here. Um, so the first name, Patrick Pister. Patrick Pister. Pister. Wow, what's this kid? Patrick Pister. Or it could be Pistor. Pistor. It's P-I-S-T-O-R. Pistor. Oh, no, no. That would have an E if it was Pistor. Yeah. Pister? Yeah. He's, that, that, he's just a miscellaneous yeah, kid. Yeah, miscellaneous kid. And thank, welcome to the Matriarch. Your new nickname, Patty Piss. Patty Piss. Yeah. Then the next next guy we have, his name is Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe. Gutter Snipe. Fucking borrow trash. Wow. Here's the third member of the Matriarch who must have been a fan. She actually wore is in the Matriarch, but now started to donate financially to the Matriarch because her name... Aubrey G, True Blue Goddess. Wow! TBG. She's a TBG. She's a TBG, Aubrey G. Wow. Yeah, Aubrey G, True Blue Goddess. Thank she, you so much. She may get the crown. Yeah. You, Next, from you. You're the matriarch. Absolutely. I'm going to give her the crown. Next person up, Omar from The Wire. He's black. Yeah. That's black a black kid. kid. Omar, one word. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that was his graffiti name. That, that's how what he's known. That's just Omar. Yeah. Welcome black to the, kid. Welcome yeah. to the matriarch, Omar. What's up, brother? Yep. Next guy, Andrew Pace. He's got a picture of himself. Uh, he's wearing uh, what looks like one of those Irish car bomber Kangol hats. And uh, he looks, yeah, yeah, he looks like he throws a few brews down each night and beats his wife. Andrew Pace. <laughs> Andrew Pace. Andrew, yeah. I like Andrew Pace. Thank you so much for being part of the Matriarch. Then we have Ann Dreger. Ann Dreger. Dreger. She that, may be chairman. She may be chairman, yes. Yes. Ann Dreger. And, or oh, so that could be also Scottish. Yeah. It could be scooting. Oh, and here we go with this. We might we might have uh we might have um another transgender member of the podcast. Her yes. name is Rachel Gregory. Rachel so Gregory. She might be giving her female and male name. Yas, yas, yas. Yeah. Triple welcome, yas. Welcome to the Matriarch, Rachel Gregory. You are in the right, right niche. Yes. We are the history hyenas. And we are trans. And we're trans. Yeah. Our whole goal is to fucking transition by the end of this podcast. That's right. Next up we have Alec Dorner. Alec Dorner. Dorner. Sounds like a, a bad guy in an 80s movie. Yeah, Alec Dorner. Alec Dorner. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got he's got no profile pic. It's just a cat. Yeah. But it's Alec Dorner. Yeah, he's, he's got a pair of boat shoes. Yeah. For sure. 100%, right? Lost bed. Alec Dorner. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he played lacrosse in high school. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. yeah. yeah his, dad, his dad owns a business. He's got a bottle of roofies in his medicine cabinet. Yeah. And then last but not least, my cup of tea, probably one of my, you know, probably one of my daughter's half uncles, <laughs> Jose Penguin Ramirez. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Jose Penguin Ramirez. Yo, Penguin's a funny fucking name. It is. Have. Penguin is great. Yeah, Penguin Ramirez. There's no way that kid doesn't have a bike with a fucking FM AM radio. 100%. That has been yeah. built into the bike yeah. with a basket on the front for cans of Budweiser. Absolutely. With a Ho- Puerto Rican flag for the spokes. Jose Penguin Ramirez listens to us every day at the auto body shop he works at. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hopefully it's in New York City. Thank you, Jose Penguin Ramirez. And thank you so much. 
much for every member um, of the of the matriarch who's joined up. Um, thank you, uh, you know, for for supporting our stuff. Tell your friends. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys, or just tell them they get the History Hyenas podcast on iTunes or anywhere you listen to podcasts. And also go to BayRidgeBoys.net and watch our Bay Ridge Boys apps. And we got merchandise coming out, and we got a new episode coming out pretty soon. Yo, are the Bay Ridge Boys shirts available yet? Aren't they available? Are they available? I think they're available. At BayRidgeBoys.net? We're going to post the link. We will post the link. But I think that they are available. Interesting. Can you check on that, uh, Zach? But in any event, on behalf of Zach Isis, Chrissy Bitch Tips, and myself, Freddie Fettuccese, and we can't forget Trash Monkey the Hyena, our official mascot, we want to say thank you for your service to each and every one of you hyena cubs who's joined our clan. And we're checking right now on the website. It's a beautiful website. The merch is not available yet. But it's I common. think the we just I think we got the test link actually. That's what Jim Serpico sent us. He took a couple minutes from uh, in between taking pictures of his kids with fish to send us the uh, the the test link. So that link right. will be available soon. Right. Yep. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we appreciate. It. Thank you for your service. Um, and yeah. Stick around for our Patreon episode where we are going to talk about the history of dogs and how dogs and their partnership with humans directly led to human civilization. Without dogs, we would still be hunter-gatherers to this day, and we would 100% have never become uh, agrarian, uh, you know, um, farmers, and, we, yeah. and civilization would have never flourished. And we would have never been able to enjoy the amenities of modernity. Absolutely! Yeah! All right? So all we can get that at patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. Thank you so much for your service. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Ha 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 